All right, fellas, I'm going to give this one more shot. I got another bottle of propane here. We're going to check this thing out see what it can do as a burner. It's very dangerous, I can tell you that. Okay, so next time I need a million BTU burner, I know what to do. Pretty impressive. This is a two-stage blower in itself. It's fairly impressive. But, uh, yeah, right on. Yeah, there is a slight amount of boost going on here. This tube itself will reach 80 degrees from the compression of air. It's compressing the air that much that it actually gets hot from compression. But uh, that's the last time I'm gonna be doing that. It'll probably cost about $10 a minute. <laughs> Who knows? I don't have a scale yet. That's my next move. I'm getting a scale. We're gonna start weighing these tanks and getting actual output readings on this. But uh, for now, I just wanted to take a look at that and see what happens thing uh, made quite the burner probably not the most effective way to use this particular blower but I do like the swirl effect delicious to Blair mentioned that it's caused by the position of the intake I don't know if they're referring to the fact that the air is colliding here and causing a double barrel swirl that we see we're definitely getting a double twin embryo looking thing inside of there and I think um, Glitches to Blair is right. I definitely agree. It's probably being caused from the way the air is colliding on this side of the unit. You got two air streams. I think that's what that individual is referring to, but I'm not sure. Um, after thinking about it, I, I think that's what they're getting at. But nonetheless, One thing that um, I will do next time I build this is move the intake port just a little bit downstream. This thing's made to pump exhaust gases out of a wood burning stove. Not really meant to be a burner ever. Never had that in mind. But uh, decided this is one of the best ways to clean at least half of it. <laughs> if it ever gets dirty. She's clean now. 
Ain't a drop of tar left in that sucker. So I hope you guys enjoyed that despite my crappy camera work. I was definitely definitely interested to see what happened. And um, thanks for the views, man. You guys are really helping me out these days.